Hello guys! Today I will show you how to perform intercutaneous injection. And before we start I just want to show you this small shoulder. So here you can clearly see three different layers. Red one is a muscle, white or yellow one is subcutaneous tissue and this thin, the most superficial brown layer represents intercutaneous layer so it's very very thin and when we will try to inject our medication intercutaneously we will use very narrow angle just 10 degrees of angle why because if you increase your angle let's say 45 or 90 degrees you see what's happening your needle tip is already at level of subcutaneous tissue which is a mistake Okay, so we disinfect patient's skin three times, starting from center and going to periphery. I'm using a new alcohol pad for each time, so second alcohol pad and third one. Now we allow it to dry, here is our syringe and needle. For intercutaneous injections, syringe should be very small, just one milliliter. Don't take 20 milliliter syringes, because on 20 milliliter syringes, the smallest unit here is one milliliter. And you can't give a precise dosage of medication, because for example, for intercutaneous injections, sometimes you will need 0.4 or 0.8 milliliters but on 20 milliliter syringes the smallest unit is 1 milliliter so it's just impossible so take appropriate small 1 milliliter syringe for intercutaneous injections needle size needle should also be small 27 gauges now patient's skin is dry we stretch it a bit we look at the, our needle tip, the small hole at the tip should look upwards and then we will inject. The injection angle will be 10 degrees, very narrow angle. And as you in, you make injection and you see what's happening. A blab is forming here, which is a good sign, which means you are in a correct position. If there is no bleb, it means you are too deep in subcutaneous layer already. After injection, take out your needle. Dry cotton ball can be placed on injection site. And we are done. Thank you.